Intro to LabVIEW, Part 9, Shift Registers. Let's decorate our uh, front panel with a numeric indicator and a push button. So every time the push button is pressed, it will indicate on the numeric indicator how many times it's been touched. To implement this on the block diagram, we're going to need a loop because we want to check the button over and over to see how many times or when it is being pressed. I'm going to create a constant here to keep track of our total number of touches. So we start at zero and I wire that into the while loop. We're going to need to use a shift register because we need to pass information from the end of one iteration of the loop to the beginning of the next iteration. Change the loop tunnel by right clicking on it or control clicking on it to bring up the menu and choose replace with shift register. We're going to need a case statement because we will do something different if the button is pressed or if it is not pressed. In the false case it is not being touched, so we want to add zero to the total. If it's true, it has been touched, we want to add one to the total. So wire the existing total from the shift registers to a plus sign and then the two values inside the case statement. We're then going to wire this to the shift register. Looks like I made a mistake. My numeric was a control. I need to change that to an indicator. Wire that total into my touches indicator. Finally, we need to run a comparison between the number of total touches and let's say 10 so that I'll know that when we reach 10, the loop can stop. Alright, let's test this out using Highlight Execution. You can see the data flowing from left to right. It's starting off as zero, flows to the right, comes back to the beginning, will continue to be zero. If I press it, you see at the plus sign, it gets a one, becomes one, flows to the right, moves to the left, and flows out as a one. Let's run the program without highlight execution. You can see that it's keeping track of each time I press the button.